Hi guys, and welcome back in Felfi Lab. Today, I will follow you in the first steps with Felfi Libro. So, let me wear the, the, the clothes of a new customer, and uh, I just received my brand new Felfi Libro. Follow me in the unboxing. So, the first thing we're gonna find on the uh, when we open the, the box of Felfi Libro, are these two pieces of paper, of paper. And now go with the important thing. We can uh, take off the protecting foam and... da -da! This is your brand new filament extruder, Felfi Libro. Okay? In the box you can find the power supply. This is the European plug, but it may change with your country. First step, fix the three polar wire to the power supply. And second step, fix the plug into the filivo. You can use uh, the screw to ensure it. Then, you must shoot uh, the, the, the interrupt is uh, on zero position, so the filivo is off. Plug it to the current and let's see the magic okay now the first suggest that i want to give you is to make uh, when uh, the first use of your filivo is to make a fast check about this function okay you are in the first menu okay let's say temperature i suggest them to pull that to pull down the temperature to 25 degree that is, is the minimum acceptable okay acceptable on our machine and also RPM to zero. Then, when you are in the, in the working menu, you can make the first check. Check one is go to RPM and try if the motor go faster or slower when I use the knob, okay? Then, with a click, I can exit from the menu. And the second check is about the temperature, okay? The, the reading of the temperature, also the the heating up. Okay. So I suggest to put just a something like 40, 45 degree and to ensure the toggle is working well. You can see a little flame logo on the right of the of the temperature. When you can see the flame it means that the felfilino, the PCB inside of a film, is heating up the melting chamber. And uh, as you see, it's working. And according with uh, with this logo, you gonna see the the temperature drop. Okay. For instance, uh, this uh, this fulfill is full uh, in the full of its function. After the first check, we can uh, we can go with the first extrusion. In every in every package that we that we send to you, that we send to you, we put a uh, material sample. This, for instance, is a PLA, the most common. And we're gonna try to extrude this pellet into the filament. So, first of all, I need to set the temperature. In, uh, according to our user guide, uh, a right range of temperature is between uh, 116 119 uh, Celsius degree. But uh, I suggest when, when uh, you use for fill for the first time to set a higher temperature. Okay. For instance, we can set in this case 200 degrees. This is uh, why, first of all, maybe you don't know with, uh, with certain the, the material that you're gonna use. And uh, however, is uh, always uh, is the, the, the right uh, workflow is, uh, is this one. Okay. New material, I set a high temperature and a low RPM. RPM is the extrusion speed. Okay? This is, uh, is to avoid that uh, the gear motor could uh, be locked by the material inside the, inside the melting chamber. Okay? Then, when you set the temperature, it, uh, it remains in this uh, menu page until the, the temperature set is used. And after that, uh, we go in the RPM setting mode. Okay? At this point, the temperature is already 200 degrees. 
We can try to use, uh, we can put our pellet inside the extruder, okay? <coughs> That's it. It's okay, this is PLA. Uh, as you know, it's uh, the same uh, the same words that you can use with the printers. That filament can be dominated, dominated by the, the humidity of the hair. I can suggest to obtain better results to dry the pellet before using it. We use a vegetable dryer, okay, but you can also use an oven or a microwave oven for a, for really, really small, uh, short time, okay? But we we send you already the, already dried the material, so with the sample you must be quite sure that uh, it will work, okay? So, first step. I have to set the, the perfidivo on the side of the table, okay? Because uh, we need what we call like a drop, I guess, like this. Okay, I say you that you have to, to put perfil on the side of the table, because we don't, we going to obtain uh, what we call drop, okay? The drop is the distance between file fill and the floor. And uh, this is useful to calibrate the filament and to cool down it. Because when fill cool down the filament with this uh, special nozzle and uh, during the drop. So I can gonna set at this point the, the speed at 4 rpm for instance. And let the magic begin. I please note that uh, I, I prepared this film before for this tutorial, so the melting chamber was already full of material. On the first, uh, on the first use, uh, you can may wait for a while before uh, the material can go out. Okay? So we can see that uh, filament for now is too much thin and it's not good. So we can we can decide that. This setting, 200 degrees and at the follow RPM, are, are totally wrong because we, this is not a good filament. So we can do two things. What I suggest to do is, first of all, set the RPM higher, okay? And set it to 9 RPM, this is the top speed, okay? This is because we need to adjust the pressure inside the, the chamber. This is because uh, every material we need to have uh, the right flow of material in the nozzle. Okay. Right now I set up the the speed of the screw, but the filament is still not good. So we can cool down the temperature. Go to 10, 10 degree to 10 degree. Okay. Now I set to 9 rpm. That's it. it's set to 190 degrees and 9 rpm. Just uh, wait a while and after uh, some minutes you can, uh, you can go to measure again your filament and uh, decide if uh, you uh, find the right setting or, or not. Pay attention to another aspect, okay? On the LCD you can see also an A and a number indicated. This is, a, um, this is an ampere and uh, this is a sensor connected to the to the gear motor and is uh, the, the torque of the motor. So it could be translating the in the pressure inside the chamber. So when I take about when I talk about about the pressure, you can take a look to this uh, to this value, okay? And uh, when this value grow up and is uh, too high, and the torque of the motor is too high, to the fill <coughs> fill go in protection mode. And uh, also, it's useful for uh, for the extrusion uh, work because more uh, more stable is, the is this number. More stable will be the the filament. However, after I, I set the drop and I start my extrusion, I, I can say you that there's one rule that you have to, to follow. Okay, if the filament go go tiny, the the temperature is too high. Simply. If the filament is too big, the temperature is, uh, is low, okay? Then you can, uh, after setting the, the right temperature, you're gonna set the, the right speed 
in order to obtain a constant filament. After a while that you have uh, find the right setting, you can see that filaments on the floor make uh, some sort of this sort of spiral. And uh, this is means that uh, the filament is uh, big enough and uh, so you can uh, take a measurement with the with the caliber and uh, save uh, if the settings are finally fine well or not. Okay, for instance I can see you can go oh sorry. Okay. Something free, okay. This is quite good. And uh, at this point you can uh, just leave fulfill uh, to make this work for all the time that you need it. I hope that uh, this short tutorial is useful for you and uh, will be available uh, for any kind of answer or question or doubt on uh, support at fulfill.com or leave a comment below. Thank you, bye!